Hello, I'm Vic Taylor and welcome to episode 14 of my Request Anything in Black Ops series. You can give me a gun, you can give me a class loadout, you can give me a map, you can give me a game mode. And I will make a video on it, I will review it, or if I've already reviewed it I will talk shit about it. Basically. Today, as you can see, we're doing the M14 with grip. It's nuke time requested this loadout quite a while ago, but I'm just catching up with the requests that I got before the PSN network went down. I have been really bad about getting all my requests done, because I've been doing so much livecom shit lately. It's been really fun. But I should warn you, this gameplay starts out very campy. It is extremely campy. I think I get my first four kills by just camping, and I do apologise, but I was on my own on this side of the map. They were spawning in front of me. I was not going to push up, because I knew I was going to die if I did that. I'm running low kill streaks, as I always do when I do these request videos. Well, not always. I did run the Cobra in one of the ones I did today, but... I just like feeling safe in the fact that I will reach all my kill streaks because, as I've mentioned before, I don't think you've seen the video where I mention it because it's one of the late random class ones, but I don't like playing to my kill streaks, and if I put on a high kill streak, I'll play to that. I like just playing. But, onto the gun. I was hiding there because of the RC car that you saw blow up. I wasn't just hiding there for the sake of it. But onto the gun, finally. The M14, it is a very good gun. Out of the burst fire weapons, the M14, the M16, the G11, I think it's the best one. It's a single shot weapon, whereas the M16 and the G11 are three shot weapons. But because it's a one shot weapon, it has much greater accuracy. And I have to be really careful that what I say is right in this video, because Jax Hale uses the M14 a lot, and I'm sure he'll correct me if I get anything wrong. But I really did like using the M14. But after using a couple of different ones of the burst fire weapons, I do find that they freeze on me quite a bit. I don't know whether it happens to anyone else. It might be my connection, it might be, but I know that there's something my goodness, that's awful aiming. I just got completely surprised by him. But I know there is something in the game where if you fire a burst weapon too fast, like if you tap away at the trigger way too fast for the game to handle, it thinks you're using a mod to make you auto-fire, and then it freezes your gun. I've actually had that on the G11 before. I believe I have a gameplay on Array where I'm shooting out of the window, my gun freezes, and I just kind of turn around and, what? What the fuck? What's happening? And it's happened a couple of times with me with the M14. Tomahawk! Thank you very much for that. And yes, I did slow it down. I am that sad. I don't give a fucking shit. Look at that. Off the doors of the... Whatever the fuck that is. And right into him. Yes! That is the only good Tomahawk I have ever got in my entire life. That psyched me, no bloody end, I'm not kidding. But the M14, it is a very nice weapon. I don't really think the grip affects it that much. I don't really know, the grip doesn't seem to affect m general use of guns for me at all. Because I'm, pr I'm pretty accurate if I'm not playing zombies. Because I was playing zombies uh, with my mum watching this evening. Because I want to do a dual commentary with her. Because some of the shit she comes out with is just fucking hilarious. I'm not even kidding. But my accuracy on that was awful, and she was she, even she was saying that you shouldn't be doing that. That's bloody that's bloody rah. Was not her exact terms, but you get the point. But accuracy isn't a big problem for me when I have my sensitivity set at three and a five for sniping. If I remember, I usually don't. But I like you know three sensitivity with everything else and the M14 already it is a very accurate weapon without even trying and that's why I like it I do find though that up close it does get beaten a little bit by the fully autos it does get beaten slightly and I know I run into a, a shit ton of famuses I mean that's the most killed by weapon I think but up when it's up against the org and when it's up against guns like that I do find it loses and I don't want to say bad things about it because I think it is a great gun and I really do like it but I would not oh my goodness oh I clutch it I really clutch it I would be so angry if I was that guy because I basically commando lunged him I would just be so unbelievably pissed off 
So, I like the M14, but at close range... Oh, oh, what's this? A triple? A triple kill with a Grim Reaper? Are we going to? Of course we're going to see that. I swear, I had such fun this game. The M14 is a fun gun to use. It is a fun gun, and actually I have set it up on a couple of my classes just for, you know, random games and everything. And look at that slow motion with a little bit of frame rate lag in there because I'm shit at editing. And the one guy around the corner is not going to survive. Do not worry, I will get him. But my overall feel about the M14, it's a good gun. It does get beaten by the fully autos at close range. The grip does not have that much effect on it. And I haven't a clue why I'm using Ghost Pro in this gameplay. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It was pretty short, but I got the final kill cam. I really had fun with this loadout. And I have got, a, I believe, two other requests for the M14. They will be coming. I'm not just going to leave it at this. They will be coming. And I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Peace, guys.